Daily readings for January 19th, Saints Marius, Martha, Autofax, and Abacom, Martyrs. The Persian nobles Marius and Martha came with their sons, Autofax and Abacom, to Rome to visit the tombs of the apostles, Saints Peter and Paul. They were cast into prison, tortured and martyred in 270. From Psalms chapter 67 Let the just feast and rejoice before God and be delighted with gladness. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let those who hate him flee before his face. O Lord, hear thy people who humbly supplicate thee under the protection of thy saints, that thou mayest grant us to enjoy peace during this life and to find the comfort of life eternal through our Lord Jesus Christ. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10. Brethren, call to mind the days gone by, in which after you had been enlightened, you endured a great conflict of sufferings, partly by being made a public spectacle through reproaches and tribulations, and partly by making common cause with those who fared thus. For you both have had compassion on those in prison and have joyfully accepted the plundering of your own goods, knowing that you have better possession and a lasting one. Do not therefore lose your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of patience, that doing the will of God you may receive the promise, for yet a very little while, and he who is to come will come, and will not delay. Now my just one lives by faith. From Wisdom chapter 3 The souls of the just are in the hands of God, and the torments of death shall not touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die, but they are in peace. Alleluia, Alleluia. Our God is wonderful in his saints. Alleluia. From Psalms 125, They who sow in tears shall reap in joy, going they went and wept, casting their seeds, but coming they shall come with joyfulness, carrying sheaves. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24. At that time, as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when are these things to happen, and what will be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And in answer Jesus said to them, Take care that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray, for you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Take care that you do not be alarmed, for these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be pestilences and famines and earthquakes in various places. But all these things are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation, and will put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away, and will betray one another, and will hate one another, and many false prophets will arise, and will lead many astray. And because iniquity will abound, the charity of many will grow cold, but whoever perseveres to the end, he shall be saved. Praise be to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ.